So today I'm talking about a P0432 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0432 code? Well, it's a main catalyst efficiency below threshold bank two. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's sensors that are located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And then the second thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter and when you get a P0432 code, these sensors are reporting back to the computer that there's some kind of issue going on with the catalytic converter, and that it's not working the way it's supposed to be working, and that it's falling below a 95% efficiency. And so it's gonna to have to be troubleshooted and know why. And when you have a V6 or V8 engine, you're gonna have two banks. Bank one side of the engine is always gonna be the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. And then bank two is gonna be the opposite of that. So if you find the number one cylinder in your engine, that side is gonna be bank one. And then the opposite of that is gonna be bank two. And bank two side of the engine is gonna be the side of the engine that the computer's seeing a problem with. And one thing to note about this code is that if you're having engine issues, if the engine's not running the way it should be, and you're getting other codes, like for example, you're getting a code on bank two for a bad injector that can cause issues that injector might be injecting too much fuel into the system and it might be dumping out into the exhaust and clogging up the catalytic converter. And so there might not be no issue going on with the catalytic converter or anything else, but the engine's having some kind of problem and causing an issue. So if you are getting something like a bad injector code or something on bank two, then be sure to pay attention to that because that can cause problems. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0432 code? Well, the first thing that causes is a bad sensor. If one of these oxygen sensors fail, there might not be no problem, but they're reporting bad information back to the computer. And so the first thing that could cause is a bad O2 sensor. There's gonna be at least two of them on each bank of the engine. You're gonna have one sensor called sensor one, also called the upstream oxygen sensor that's located before the catalytic converter. And then you're gonna have sensor two, also called the downstream oxygen sensor that's gonna be located after the catalytic converter and sometimes right on it. It can be a good idea to get a diagram for your specific vehicle to know exactly where those sensors are located and where they're at. There's some different ways to go about testing those sensors. If you have an OBD2 scan tool, then there's some good ways to go about testing them and see if they have failed. There's some good YouTube videos on that. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad oxygen sensor on bank two. The next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to the O2 sensors. Basically keep in mind that if there's anything wrong with these wires that's going to the O2 sensor, then that's gonna have the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So if you do test them with the scan tool and you're seeing that there's some kind of problem going on there, you can also check out the wiring and you can test it with like a multimeter and things like this and be sure that's good. But basically keep in mind, anything wrong with the wiring going to those O2 sensors is gonna cause problems. And the next thing that can cause this is an exhaust leak. If there's an exhaust leak, then outside air can get inside of the system and that can throw off these O2 sensors and it could cause them to get bad readings and then report bad information back to the computer. So be sure to check out the exhaust and be sure you don't got any exhaust leaks because that can sometimes cause problems. It could cause those sensors to get bad readings. And the last thing on the list is gonna be that that catalytic converter just failed and it needs to be replaced. Quite often what happens with these is that they can become all clogged up, that all the pieces inside here, it all comes apart and it gets all clogged up inside of there. When this happens, the engine's gonna have to be working harder to push the exhaust out. So if your vehicle doesn't have the power like it once did, you go to step on the gas and it just doesn't go like it once did, then the catalytic converter might be clogged up. There's some different ways to go about checking to see if the catalytic converter failed. One method to see if they failed is that when they get clogged up, they're gonna get hotter before than after the catalytic converter. Because if it's working the way it should be working, then it should be hotter after the catalytic converter than before. But when it gets clogged up, it's blocking the flow going out. And so it's gonna get hotter before. So if you have a good scan tool, you could check to see what the temperatures are at the O2 sensors. And you can see if it's hotter before than it is after. And that'll tell you whether or not it's failing or not. Some mechanics will use the infrared gun. And basically you start up the vehicle, you let it run for like 15, 20 minutes and get warmed up. And then you check what the temperature is before and then after the catalytic converter. And if it's hotter before, then you know that catalytic converter is having some kind of problem. Another method that some mechanics use is that they'll loosen up the bolts right before the catalytic converter. They'll loosen them up like half an inch or something, and this will allow the exhaust to escape. And then they'll drive the vehicle around the block, and they'll just see if it has more power. And if it has more power, then they know there's an issue with that catalytic converter. So like I said, there's some different methods to go about troubleshooting a bad catalytic converter, but the last thing on the list is going to be a bad catalytic converter. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview 
of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0432 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.